Hey guys, what's happening? This is Mr. Shang 335 and I'm here to show showcase five things that you're going to have to have on you in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Now this is Zombie Weapons Z Wars Part 3. So anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to show you these five things. Also, I want to throw out a special thank you to a good friend of mine that made some of these suggestions. And you know who you are, so I'm going to make a special thank you. And uh, hopefully you'll like the, the things I put on this list. All right, so let's get to it. Let's All showcase right. some of First thing on the list, guys, is obviously you're going to want some sort of chopping utensil. Now this is a little hatchet I've got, and obviously you look at it and it's pretty well used. It's pretty shitty. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's going to be the first thing. And this is going to be really handy because you can chop down your trees and make your shelter and possibly even your game if you have to take off a leg of a deer you might have gotten. So yeah, this is going to be one of the things that you should have on you when you're uh, surviving in a zombie apocalypse. The other thing is, is you're going to want, and this is going to be something that was suggested to me by my good friend is you're gonna want to have the pocket lighter everybody's gonna have a pocket lighter on them um, you know a lot of people like in an office or uh, at work I mean even if you're not a smoker most generally people have a lighter in their pocket for certain you know certain things that they want to do campfires and you know whatever so anyway this is going to be one of the things that I'm gonna have on me and hopefully you will too so there's the pocket lighter. The other thing I want to showcase is the pencil. The, it, I can't describe to you just how important it is to have some sort of writing utensil. Um, a lot of your survival shows will tell you the same thing. Is uh, You want to make sure you have something that you can jot down with, you know, a pencil, because uh, you never know. I mean, you could be in a situation where, you know, you're 100 yards away from your water, maybe 200 yards. And uh, so you don't have any other way of recording it except for you have your pencil, <coughs> which you can sharpen with a pocket knife or you can sharpen on a rock. Now, with that said, the next item is going to go right along with the pencil, and that is a trusty note notepad. Now, uh, you know, you c this is what you're going to write down all your directions, maybe even doodle a few landmarks so you can find your way there and back. So, uh, yeah, this is one of the things that I would have on me. So, uh, yeah, the notepad. You gotta make sure you gotta have some sort of notepad. And the other thing is, is a trusty pocket knife. Now, from my other videos, you guys remember this. This is like, um, I think they call it like an eagle claw or something. But a pocket knife. I never go anywhere without some sort of pocket knife. And uh, here in Maine, I mean, everybody carries a pocket knife. Uh, just to tell you a few things is like for hunting, fishing, four wheeling, snowmobiling, um, camping, boating, uh, just everything. Up here in Maine, you know, we're a very outdoorsy kind of people. And, uh, you know, you got to have yourself a pocket knife, especially something good. And as you can tell, uh, it kind of fits. You know, it's got the little zombie on the front of it and a little biohazard. So anyway, uh, yeah, these are the five things that you better make sure you have on you. Uh, I'm going to have on me. And uh, we'll just kind of showcase it over. Also, for the person that made the suggestion, you're going to know all, you know, you're going to know uh, who I'm talking about is, yes, I do have my slippers on. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks a lot. And uh, hopefully you'll, uh, you'll like the video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like and leave some comments. You know, some more uh, some more comments on what you think ought to be else thrown into the pack for future videos. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye. What is going on, guys? This is Mr. Shank three thirty five, and I hope you guys liked the video. I know there was only five things, but you know what? We need some of those comments. We need the like and subscribe button hit. So make sure you leave some of those uh, comments down below. Tell me what you think ought to be in a survival pack, and uh, I'd love to put them on here. So for future videos, make sure you leave plenty of comments, and I'll make sure I make the videos and I put in the, the things that you put in the comments. So I'm Mr. Shank three thirty five, and I'm really saying thank you guys for all your support and your views and we'll see you in the future videos all right we'll see you later bye